Hey, you guys. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about what is a sterile processing tech. A sterile processing tech basically is a person that um, works in the works alongside the OR. And a lot of times we just clean all the instruments that the hospital use for surgical use. So people people really don't know what sterile processing what sterile processing is, and they don't even know it's actually an industry. So that's what a sterile processing tech is. You can it's kind of, we I feel like we work hand in hand with the scrub techs only because I feel like I interact more with the scrub with the scrub techs more than I would like the the nurses and stuff like that. But that's maybe that's just my facility. So that's what sterile processing tech is. So a lot of people probably want to know, but well, how do I get into sterile processing tech? How I got into sterile in, into sterile processing is that I just uh, put an application in for all the different hospitals in my area. And um, one hospital called me back because they really, really needed people. And I found that usually you have one hospital, no matter where you stay in the United States, you usually have that one hospital that's willing to take people who are not certified and get you certified. A lot of times they probably feel like, you know, it saves money. Just like they're they're usually like a learning hospital. So try to be on the lookout for that as well. Try to try to uh, ask around different hospitals. It's like, hey, you know, uh, what's your average of hiring people that don't have a certification and stuff like that. So that's one thing. And two, now that I'm in my sterile processing tech, a lot, a lot of uh, sterile processing tech position, a lot of people work as a sterile processing tech but they don't have their certification that's perfectly fine if your facility allows you to do that my facility they allow me to they are allowing people who are new to the field to work up to 18 months after they've been hired to obtain their sterile processing tech uh certification so i was hired about like two or three months ago so i got like a little bit longer to go so i'm gonna start studying i'm i started studying and doing all of those things they gave me a book and they gave me a questionnaire so i can kind of like work through it myself and they said that i heard that the questions is about 400 questions but i'm not for sure about that yet i have to i have to ask somebody to make sure and the pay a lot of people always want to ask about the pay as well. I feel like the pay is pretty good. Um, I work second, like a mid-second shift. I work 11 to 7. So I get paid one uh, portion for about 11, 12, 1, 2. So about, I think they said up until 12 o'clock I get paid what I usually get paid. And then after um, 12 o'clock I get paid like um, $2 extra. So that helps out a lot. And then I work at an outpatient unit. So I get, I work Monday through Friday and I have every single weekend off and I don't get overtime yet because I'm new, but they said one time, but once I get out of orientation, which is, I think another month, then they said, they told me that I would be able to sign up for orientation. I said sign up for orientation. I'll be able to sign up for overtime and stuff like that. And um, another thing that a lot of people ask me, is it is it like a lucrative career? One thing that I will say is uh, being a sterile processing tech to me doesn't really sound like it's bad, but I'm 23 and I don't have any children. So that might have a lot to do with it as well. But I feel like with a sterile processing tech, from what I'm hearing, once you get certified, uh, you might, they might, you, you, you'll be easy. It'd be easy for you to get about 20 to $22 an hour. And then, um, you could start traveling locally or non-locally and you can make up to $80,000 a year. So that's something to look out for as well. But I feel like it really depends on where you stay at. I stay kind of in like a Southern state. So the, I'm not going to say that the stuff here is expensive, but it's not cheap. So I feel like I live in like a medium type of area to where it's like, you know, if I'm making like $24, $25 an hour, then, you know, that's that can keep me like afloat and I can still do things that I want to do. But if you're living like in Chicago or New York or something, you might, you probably, I don't want to say you probably want to do something else, but you kind of want to like make sure you get your top dollar because I know it's expensive in those areas and I don't have to worry about that here, thankfully. So that's something. But I hope I really explained what sterile processing tech is. I know I didn't really go like by the like by the book of like telling you exactly what it is, but basically, just to give you a rundown, being a sterile processing tech, I literally get the instruments from heart surgery, from knee surgery, from um, the nursery when they want to do the circumcisions. Um, eyes just anything that you could think of that when people when they get surgeries at the hospital i get those instruments and i clean them and another thing is i do work alongside vendors and what the medical vendors we call them vendors i don't know if everyone calls them vendors but 
I just go ahead and we just call them vendors. But they're basically medical sales people, medical sales reps. For some reason, we call them, I think someone just said they like to be called vendors, so we just call them all vendors, but <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Um, but yeah, they're um they're medical sales people and they give us loaners for stuff that um they give us loaners for the for the people to use. One thing that I will say is that a lot of times those instruments will come in so disgusting okay and you have to make sure that you uh you have to make sure that you document everything right and i'm gonna go into that in a different video because that's a whole different conversation but like i was saying i work alongside surgical techs and um medical sales reps a little bit more than i feel like i do nurses i feel like i see nurses but not as much as other hospitals but maybe like i said maybe it's just like where i stay but yeah so i said where i stay where i work at so that's something to keep in mind as well you know you might have uh, places that you probably work with surgeons a little bit more hands-on you might not it really just depends like where where you're located and what your hospital stands for um yeah so being a being a third person tech i pretty like i'm pretty much i like it where i'm working at we do not have seats and that's the one thing that a lot of people they do complain about but i don't really mind it but like i said i'm 23 once i hit like 30 40 i probably want some seats but i feel like this is like a pretty you know lucrative career especially if it's like you know you want you try you kind of don't know like what you want to do in the medical field i feel like this is a good way to be like you know what maybe i could be a surgeon you can kind of see like what the surgical techs do you can see you can kind of look around and see like what the nurses do and you can find you can find a lot of people who do things and you be like wow i didn't know that was a career kind of like start processing tech so I think it's worth it. I don't think it's bad. Uh, some people, if you don't like blood, then that might be something that you you probably wouldn't want to like deal with with sterile processing tech because I do see a lot of blood on the instrument. Sometimes I might see a little bit of tissue on the instrument and stuff like that, but that stuff doesn't bother me as much. But one thing that I will say is, and that's going back to what I said earlier about going, making a different video, but um, if it does, if some of that stuff does come back disgusting, I always have someone step in for you and take a picture of it when you're in Decatam. And uh yes, yeah, so you can have proof when you give them the uh when you give them the grade of what they got, just so they can know like this is disgusting, this really shouldn't be happening. I don't really see too many disgusting things as like I was seeing a month ago, but I really feel like it kind of comes in waves. I feel like when people are tired, they might, you know, just make mistakes or whatever. So I'm not gonna try to say like it happens every single day, but it does happen. I would say it happens by about 65% of the time. So it's not as good as, sh as it should be in my facility, but I don't feel like it's horrible as well. It's kind of like a, it's like a, a teeter tot, whatever. Um, yeah, so. Oh, and another thing too that I wanted to let you guys know that if you if you're not a people person, you might really really like this because I feel like um you work with a lot of people as a service processing tech, but you're pretty much like on your own and your name goes on everything. So it's like you're you're at a table and you're setting up you're set you're making sure like a case has everything in the uh in the like in the case card. And you're making sure that uh, the sets that you do have everything that it needs before you process it. And then and where I and where I'm at. Uh, she lets us have one little uh, earbud in. We can listen to podcasts, listen to music as we get our work done. And it helps the day go by fast. So I talk to my coworkers. We all pretty much get along. So if you're not a people person, that might be something that you like to do because you don't you don't have no interaction with the patient whatsoever. You're basically like you're you're like the the black ninja in the back. Like you're you're their backup. So I think that's pretty cool. So. If you guys have any more questions about stuff processing tech, if you want me to get into more detail about, you know, uh, the type of certification that I'm going to be getting and the, how my days work and just different things like that. I really didn't have anybody ask me any questions. This is like my first like introduction video. So I hope I did a good job with uh, explaining stuff processing tech. So if I did, please leave comments. If you have any questions, I will, I, will be, I will be sure to write them down. And then in my next video, we could probably talk about, we could probably just talk about, I don't know, just let me know like i have a couple things that i think i want to talk about maybe one thing i could talk about is just basically like my day like what i actually do day to day so you got so you guys can have an idea of what it actually that i do so if that's something that you're interested in please like comment and subscribe and please leave me a comment and let me know how i did for my first videos okay so bye